Tell Tell Floyd to get on live. Tell him show where he at. Yo, them people over in Dubai that money. Tell him get on live right now. And he old people in Saudi Arabia. Money too. All his scamming. On live right now. There is a new beef in town as Gervonta Tank Davis has called out Floyd Money Mayweather and claims that the boxing legend is stuck in Dubai because of a botched business deal. In a recent interview, Mayweather discussed how today's fighters squander their money rather than invest it. Surprisingly, Davis assumed the comment was directed at him, so he promptly addressed the situation on his Instagram account, saying, Nigga say all this bullshit but in Dubai and can't leave because he been taking niggas money and not doing what they paid him to do. Nigga a f***ing hater. Me. So many sacrifices. Y'all looking at the end. Y'all looking at the end results. Y'all not looking at this where y'all go look at the interview and dad gonna tell y'all, you know, with me being champion, with me already having. Davis didn't stop there as he went on to post on his ex account. He challenged Floyd to come live and confront the situation if the claims he made were false. Tank posted, he has to pay them people back. If I'm lying, tell him to go live right now. He's been stuck over there for a minute too. Later during a live Instagram stream, Davis accused Mayweather of scamming people and called him broke. Yo, tell him get on live right now. And you old people in Saudi Arabia money too. Broke ass nigga. But it didn't take long for Floyd to hit back. In response to Gervonta's claims, Mayweather took to his Instagram account and posted a video of Tank dancing in quite a zesty manner. He captioned the story as, We always knew he had sugar in his tank. The sugar in the tank comment was a jab at the boxing world champion for dancing in a feminine manner. Gervonta quickly responded to the video by posting on his ex account. Now he posted that, tell him go live where he at? The request of going live quickly turned violent, as Tank also threatened to knock Floyd out even if he had to go to jail in doing so. Davis posted, now I f around and knock Floyd out when I see him and I'll care about going back to jail. He's such a he don't allow his security carry guns. Reacting to Davis's cold remarks, rapper 50 Cent reached out to help Mayweather if was really in trouble. Sharing a screenshot of Davis's tweet on his Instagram, the 48-year-old music icon wrote, Oh nah, this is real. Gervonta would not say no sh like that if it wasn't official. Me and Champ be beefing, but he my brother. I got some money if he needs it. But boxer Connor Ben came forward and took a jab at Mayweather. He called Floyd a fraud and told him to pay his jewelry debts. Oh, I Floyd. Mayweather pay your jewelry debts, you fraud. However, Floyd didn't limit himself to just posting a dancing video of Tank on his Instagram story. On the subsequent Instagram story, Floyd shared a video of Shakur Stevenson signaling that he wants Tank to fight him next. The video showed Shakur who called out Tank and told him to stop ducking him. Say, man, look, man. Your beef is not with Floyd Mayweather. You sitting here beefing with Floyd. It's a fighter out here that's been calling your name that want to fight you. Javante Tank Davis, let's make the fight happen, man. I'm tired of tweeting. I'm tired of talking about it. Stop ducking me and let's make the fight happen, man. Come on. Gervonta responded to this on X, claiming that Floyd is teaming up with Shakur because he is afraid of his father Jay Prince. He also stated that Shakur is a child who can be easily manipulated, which is why Floyd is exploiting him. He posted, Floyd doesn't like him either. He only siding with that kid because he's scared of Jay Prince, the father, and the kid's so easy to manipulate. Look how he had him go at young boy with the Rolls umbrella, kid looking for fame. Tank and Shakur then went back and forth on Twitter, trading verbal blows. Shakur replied to Tank, asking him to fight rather than duck him. He wrote on Twitter, better off shadow boxing than fighting me. Gravanta responded instantly, mocking Shakur for being a boring boxer. He posted, it's always niggas like him talking like they some type of killer. These people seen you fight, bro. They hype. Tank then responded to a fan who shared a video of Shakur crying and made fun of him. He's such a clout chaser. He didn't even have no tears down his eyes. Bro, this kid a whole clown. He also posted a video in which the main focus was to mock Shakur's style of fighting.
Shakur didn't wait long as he posted a video in which Gervonta and him were training together. In the video, Tank had some really praising words to say for Stevenson. Shakur being in the, in, in the Olympics, showing me the different skills, you know, different outlooks and all the things that he learned. Floyd didn't want to fall behind in this drama and posted a made-up poster of Shakur Stevenson and Gervonta Davis on his ex account. He captioned it, This should be the fight. A future fight between these two boxers doesn't look impossible. Top-ranked president Todd Duboeuf is hopeful that a mega-fight between Gervonta Davis and Shakur Stevenson can be secured. Todd stated, I hope the match happens in the near future. I think it makes sense. I think those weight classes between 130 and 140 pounds are brilliant. When asked what he thinks will be the weight class the two fighters will fight in, Todd said, I think there's a lot of moving and shaking going on there. I think they are all touching the weight classes and can touch all of them. Their size is good enough that they can drop in weight to lose three to five pounds and move up in weight to gain three to five pounds. But he's also careful about everyone's expectations for this fight. So I think there's a lot of fun that can be done there. But we've got to get everybody's expectations to the table. Putting aside this potential bout, Ryan Garcia noticed the ongoing feud between Floyd Mayweather and Gervonta Davis. He explained the situation and stated that Gervonta had a physical relationship with Floyd's daughter. Ryan affirmed that alone is the biggest reason why they hate each other now. I already, I already knew about all that, but once um, Gervonta, uh, uh, Floyd Mayweather's daughter, and that's not even a secret. That's not even like, that's not something I'm exposing. Oh, wow. That's uh, after somebody did that to my daughter? Ryan also gave his prediction for the potential fight between Shakur Stevenson and Gervonta Davis. He simply posted, Gervonta beats Shakur. Shakur Stevenson wasn't happy with this statement and called out Ryan immediately. He highlighted the fight between Davis and Garcia and also mentioned how Ryan is cheater for coming three pounds heavier during his way in with Devin Haney. Shakur posted, Why cause he sat you down and made a shit on yourself? Sorry, fat boy. That was the alcohol I don't drink, and I do my sit-ups. Congrats on your victory, the cheater. But Shakur wasn't the only one that Ryan had targeted. He also called out Gervonta Davis for a rematch after his emphatic victory against Devin Haney. Ryan blamed the rehydration clause for his loss against Gervonta, one year ago, and believes that if he comes in at an optimal weight, he can easily beat Tank. He even stated that fighting Devin was harder than fighting Davis. Haney actually caught me. Gervonta hadn't really... It wasn't a hard fight, I was just weak. That's not a hard fight for me. I will beat Javante Davis worse than I beat Devin Haney. Devin Haney is a harder fight than Javante. When asked what he thinks would happen if Gervonta goes up against Haney, Ryan believes that Haney would come on top if the fight happens between the two boxers. If Haney fights Tank, who wins? Haney beats Tank out of just pure uh, volume and just knows how to use his reach good. Tank will try to hurt him, but I don't think Tank could, uh, Tank won't get to Haney. Uh, definitely Haney will beat Tank. Ryan's surprising victory over the favorite Devin Haney has made him a superstar overnight. His promoter, Oscar De La Hoya, is super confident in Ryan and believes that if a rematch between him and Tank happens without a rehydration clause, Ryan will easily come on top. He lost against Tank, yes. You know, everybody the, talking about the rehydration clause, guess they compared pictures of him and Tank and him and Devin Haney, and it's, it's a whole different fighter. It's crazy. Now he knows that he belongs with the very best. I mean, he, he beat Devin Haney and he destroyed him. Whoever wants uh, any smoke, you know, come talk to me and, uh, and we'll make it happen, 144. However, Leonard Alerby believes that Ryan Garcia cannot beat Gervonta Davis no matter what. He believes that Ryan is just making excuses because he couldn't beat Tank, and if a rematch happens between the two, the result will remain the same. Ryan, Ryan Garcia can't beat Tank Davis, and he knows that. He knows it. He knows that. He shared the ring with him. He knows that. All, oh, all bullshit. All bullshit. It, it, explain it's, why, it's, why, yeah. It, it sounds good. It sounds good. Tank's IQ is off the charts. Tank did exactly what he said he was going to do. Exactly. He took the L. Now, if for some unforeseen reason that the results would have been different, do you think he would have been talking about that? It's all bull It's what we call excuses. Instead of just taking the L and keeping it moving. And he was able to, he was able to fight Tank, take the L. He, he came back and, and he regained his confidence and he come off of a, a good, a very big win by being handy. 
We can say that Ryan shocked the world with his win over Devin Haney, but many believe that the extra three pounds Ryan had played a big factor during their fight, but some also blame Devin for his poor game plan. Floyd Mayweather also came in with his opinion on what went on during the fight. He believes that Devin boxed poorly and couldn't defend the one major threat from Ryan, that being the infamous left hook. What they teaching Devin in the gym is, he, for starters, it's certain thing he gotta turn, turn his shots to get his power. He gotta right. turn a certain way. Right. You're right about that, 100%. And you, you can't be shooting a jab like this. It's am, amateurs do this. When you're professional, we here. You here. Boom, boom. It's here. So, even like I want you to go back and look at the Arturo Gotti fight. You see, every time I get my shit off, but I'm still right there like this. Because I know that I know that motherfucker got a hook. And right. the hook comes from, remember, the hook is the shot that not they knock fighters out the most because it comes from the blind side. It comes from around here. So in the 11th round when he got knocked down, he didn't see the shot coming. He was throwing a hook with his head in the air and got caught. So it's just, it's, it's a lot of things that has to be taught. Devin's father, Bill Haney, has previously stated that the Mayweather era is over and it's the Haney era now. Bullshit ass uh, business model that you're gonna charge the fans for some bullshit fights and that you can play some boxing because you just keep shoving it down their throat, man. And the Mayweather era, that's over with, man. This is the Devin Haney era. That Mayweather shit is over with, man. You hear me? Over with. Floyd ain't never did what Devin did at 25. Tank ain't did it, nobody else ain't did it. Listen, y'all just scared to say it, but I'm not, I'm, I'm not, I believe, listen, I believe in my son. During a recent interview, when asked if the extra three pounds mattered during the Ryan Haney fight, Floyd simply said that if it's the Haney era that Bill had proclaimed, then the extra three pounds shouldn't have mattered because he himself fought fighters who were 20 pounds heavier than him. Floyd stated, my thing is this, to Bill, because if I'm not mistaken, it's not the Floyd Mayweather era. So if it's not the Floyd Mayweather era, then I need you guys to tell me this. A torch was taken from me without me handing the torch to someone. So if it's really not the Floyd Mayweather era, you don't have to say this. It's gonna show. The extra three pounds shouldn't be an excuse then. Floyd also expressed his confusion as to why Bill is beefing with him. He claimed that he has never said anything negative about Devin Haney. Some lies, I think you've been, you know, I think he's on the tennis courts now doing his thing, you know. He, cha he changed his tone. Yeah, well, I mean, and I, yeah, and, listen. And, and Bill, and Bill, I'm just, mm. I just want to ask you a question. Where me and you, where did me and you go wrong? Where did me and you start beefing at? Yeah, I don't know. I don't, I, last time I, last, if you a manager in a, or you, if you a manager or a trainer, you know, I mean, it's okay to, to speak your opinion sometimes, but, and we talk about us growing and us helping one another. All I ever did want, all I ever wanted to do was help Devin. That's all I ever wanted to do. Shortly after the interview, Floyd went on a live call with Bill Haney to resolve the beef between the two. But that wasn't the case, as the two of them had some harsh words to say to each other. I've been you for hell long, but I feel like you're a bullshit ass. You feel I'm bad? That's how I feel like it. Me, myself, personally. You know what I'm saying? Okay, 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 that if you really, that's what you really been with me, but when you went to go talk and do the deal, it wasn't something that he felt like that he wanted to get no monkey. He wanted to be a boss. So the deal that didn't happen. But I mean, I don't want you to sit up and talk like, like you, like some hellified You've been doing some hellified for the streets or like you've been there for me or like we. Even when Floyd said that he wants to help Devin and never meant anything bad towards him, Bill blatantly rejected the offer. My son needs me today, tomorrow, and every and day. Guess what? So this joy. If he need, if he yes. need me, I'm gonna be there for him. If he need me, I'm gonna be there oh, for him. No, nigga, you was just popping slick, and I pop back at you, crazy fool. Yeah, if he we don't need guess you, what? but dog guess shit. What? We don't need I you. I never. And then guess what? Shit. Anytime, anytime I ever talk to Devin and help him, Devin, guess what? It's on total love. Period. It don't sound like that. It was. It was off love. Period. It don't sound like know. that. 
This beef couldn't resolve as the two of them didn't come to good terms, but after the video of the two men arguing surfaced on the internet, Ryan Garcia took to X and stated that it was Floyd who told him to come in three pounds heavier during the weigh-in and deal with the Haney's. Floyd told me to come in over three LBs, he told me f Bill Haney, whatever. This statement by Ryan raised many questions on Floyd, who was eager to help Devin and never meant anything bad for him. Now that the beef between Gervonta and Floyd has come to surface, Bill Haney has also come forward and questioned the legitimacy of it. Bill took some sarcastic jabs at Floyd and chuckled about the situation. I told y'all y'all gonna stop listening, old boy. Night he came out and put his young homie in his drawers on his thing. Is it to sell pay-per-views and then say it's some sugar in the tank? Or is it really just some salt and his old ass shaker? <laughs> so what are your thoughts on all of this? Is the feud between Gervonta and Floyd genuine, or are they staging it for attention? What do you make of Floyd and Bill's situation? Please let us know in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe and check out some of our other videos on the screen right now.